Hey, 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 everybody. This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I've got an awesome front living loft model fifth wheel for you. It's the 2023 Sierra 3990 FL. And I am pumped to show you this thing. I just think it's such a truly unique floor plan and it's got a lot to offer. If you guys are looking for things like the specifications, you know, length, weight, uh, tank sizes, awning size, all that, you'll find that down in the description of this video you know, along with my contact information. Um, if you guys are in the market for an RV, I do sell them. So I'd love to talk to you. But uh, my text line and my email will be found down there. Again, it's the 2023 Sierra 3990 FL. And since it's a front living, I figured I'll start up in the front. Uh, but if you guys like RV videos or like what I'm doing, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Definitely would appreciate it. Maybe drop a comment and say hello. But man, this is a beautiful camper. So much like other front living fifth wheels, you do get the opposing slides. You get the extra sleeping space, you know, with the pull out sofas there that do flip out, meet in the middle for one giant sleeping space. But this thing is abnormally beautiful. I just love the decor on this. I think the floor looks right. The furniture is looking good. The fireplace, the light cabinetry, everything about this just screams, you know, what I love. Um, in decor. So I'll kind of show you the slides because these are going to be the same both left and right. But right here, like I just mentioned, you do get a pull-out sofa. It comes out to the middle to meet up for the one big sleeping space. You're also going to see that you get three windows. Well, if I opened one up at least, you'd see. So you get the three windows. You get the two on the side. It does come with the nightshade so you can block out the sun. And then you get kind of the bigger one right here as well that doubles up as an emergency exit. So for whatever reason you need to get out, you just pull up those two red pens, push it, and you guys can get out in a hurry. Your light switch for the side is going to be found right here. So pretty darn easy to navigate. I got the heater going today, the fireplace. I got it on the low setting, and truthfully it is getting pretty toasty up here. I've had it on for about 20 minutes, but that is a 5500 uh, BTU, or I'm sorry, 5100 BTU electric fireplace. I've got it in my favorite setting, you know, the white flame right there. You can also put it in blue, red, and orange, uh, but that's how I prefer it. You can also turn off the heat if you just want kind of a nice little ambient glow, you know, so that's a pretty nice feature to have. All the controls for that, you know, are going to be found right here. Um, really simple to use. You also have your Connex sound system. It's a little built in sound bar. You know, with the DVD player, USB port, and the aux cord. You also get zones A, B, and C. So that's going to be inside, outside, and both sides. You're going to have the similar storage, both left and right. And you'll notice here on this front, you get the front cap with the nice kind of like plexiglass, you know, high-grade plastic uh, finish. I got the nightshade just to show you. You can kind of block it out. Uh, but you have a really good ability to have a great view out there and see it. But the countertop space on here is pretty darn good. And you'll see that there's these little slits right here. There is a button. Let me show you. Got a little TV that rises up. And you'll notice how smooth and quiet it is. You know, it's not rattling around like some of these RVs will. You know, it's looking really nice. Okay, so like I was saying, both left and right have the same storage. On this side, you do get your thermostat and then a couple outlets. But you get that, and then below, you're going to get this. So some pretty good storage here right up front. A couple hookups for, you know, your cable and all that. Same slide as the one I just showed you right here. So all the windows open. They all have nightshades. You do get an AC up here, uh, which is dedicated kind of this area. There's also two dump valves. So if you just want to cool down this front area, you know, if you're watching a movie, you're kicking it on those recliners, you just simply take your finger. Bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. And it'll port, you know, all that AC directly down into there as opposed to spending it, uh, sending it all the way evenly, you know, throughout the track system. Directly across from the front, you know, or that TV, you do get a little recliner there and you control that. You got a little uh, pull tab right here that you lift up, to flip the feet out. It is the quick recline. So that way you can lay back, you know, nearly make a bed if you prefer kind of the chair sleeping. And then you also get, you know, a couple lights that you can um, turn on and off with just a little double tap of the finger. 
You can do that on both sides. You're also going to get, you know, just a little bit of counter space right over there. Maybe plop a cell phone down, you know, or something like that. A little decorative painting to show you. That's always nice. Makes you feel like they care a little bit more. And then don't forget the clock. And as the old saying goes, you know, it's 1010 10 somewhere. All right. So that does it for this front room here. I'll show you the front living just one more time. Again, that TV does go down. You also get yourself a little grab handle and you got a little bit of a nightlight. Flip it around, this is gonna be your kitchen where you get all the cooking done, where you have some breakfast. You do get this mini island that has the accent lighting. A nice residential style refrigerator. And then you also get a fan, so if you wanna get that air, air circulating, you definitely can. So I'll start right here up on this wall. So a little bit of storage here to the right, and this is going to be your control panel. So you can turn on and off all the lights. Uh, your black one and gray too. You can also see, you know, how full everything is. Then your heated holding tanks, which is nice for more of an extended season. So you can go a little bit, you know, deeper into the year without having your tanks freeze up on you. Your water pump, your awning, and then these are going to be all your slide outs. So you got the four slide controls uh, all right here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that one's for. Okay, so that's going to be the bedroom slide, it sounds like. So there's your bedroom slide control. Uh, you also get your Furion gas water heater, and that comes with a standard setting of about 113 degrees, I do believe. It also looks like they went ahead and put on the four camera safety system. So I'll show you that on the exterior portion. Essentially, you're going to get a camera on the front left, the front right, above the door, and then heading up the rear. They also have, uh, coming in with the 2023s, your tire pressure monitoring system. So that's pretty darn nice because while you're driving down the road, it'll actually kind of flash and warn you if, you know, the tire is too low, if it's too high, if it's losing air rapidly. Just really nice for safety, you know, so that way you can avoid a blowout. You notice on that storage, they do have the, um, the soft close feature. You know, so that's pretty nice. If you're not familiar with that, basically, just closes nice and soft so that way you're not slamming all the cabinet doors. A couple more light switches right here two more USBs, and two outlets. You also get your RoadVac central system. Um, so that way you know you can sweep up any of the debris that might land on the ground. And then you got your fuse box there right below. Big, big storage right here. So that is a big plus. You know, in RVs, it's usually the challenge is how do you get all your stuff, you know, into this. And this, uh, this is some of the area that you'll definitely utilize pretty darn quickly. Flip it around on this slide. Um, I'm going to call this kind of the cooking slide because you got your refrigerator, your oven, your microwave, and some storage. Let me show you the inside of the refrigerator here. Got the little safety tab right there so it doesn't fly open while you're driving down the road. So there is going to be your refrigerator. And the nice part about this is, is this is a 12-volt refrigerator. So not only you know, is it the size of one at your house for an extended weekend or maybe some more full-time applications. It also runs while you're driving down the road or if you just have a battery hooked up in general, you know, solar or anything like that that's trickle charging that battery will keep this bad boy running. So that's a big time plus. You also get a really good size freezer. So you have the little pull out right there and then you see that little cutout. That's because they got oh, no ice maker on it. I thought there might be one. Uh, but you get the pull-out drawer right there, and then kind of the partitioned-off freezer, you know, so you can organize some of your freezer space a little bit. You got your Greystone oven, a little bit larger than most. You know, cook yourself up a couple chickens or a pizza. Get the light on there. And then you have your three stovetop burner. New backsplash for the 2023. You also get an outlet. And then you have a little bit of storage here to the left of the oven, you know, and below. So this top one is going to be a little bit smaller. And these bottom two, just a little bit bigger. And again, those are both on soft close. And I'll tell you, I'm having a pretty darn good day today. Sold two RVs, one guy down in uh, Louisiana. If you don't know, we're up from Ohio. We ship them out nationally all the time. But really pleasant guy to work with. And then earlier this morning at about 10... Uh, 
had two folks that came in that, uh, you know, they lived up by Indian Lake here in Ohio, and they ended up buying a camper from me. Came right off the old YouTube channel, so that was pretty darn cool. Always makes my day, you know, just that much better when people, uh, I don't know, when they call in general. It just feels nice. Single stainless steel undermounted bowl with your high-rise faucet. Hitting those dishes from all angles. You also get some good storage here underneath with the trash can and access to your plumbing. Again, soft close and soft close. Let me put that top back on. This is going to be your welcoming packet from Sierra. So things like, you know, owner's manuals, maybe a TV remote or two uh, will be found in that. One smaller drawer here, another smaller drawer, and then you get the bigger one down here on the bottom, which has your hoses there for the outside. It looks like a water filter. Kind of a little nook for, you know, kind of like a little drink bar or something set up. I imagine, you know, like a Keurig or something like that, but a little bit of countertop space, some good storage, all of which is going to be the same. So you're going to get three of those. And then this is all just, you know, one open piece. And then up here, let me open up these up for you. And if you guys have made it this far, if you guys could consider hitting that like or subscribe button, I would definitely appreciate it. And then if you have any suggestions for future comment, you know, let me know. Just bought a computer, so I'm going to be trying to uh, upgrade these videos, drop some good money, a little bit over 2000 bucks on a nice editing computer. Got the Mac Studio, so I'm pretty freaking excited. I'm going to start dropping like overlays with pictures of different options and things like that. But if you can think of anything that I could add graphics wise, you know, I would greatly appreciate it. You got your dinette right over here. You're also going to have three real big windows. Just like that. And the two side ones do open up, you know, for a really nice cross breeze. They also have really good head height on them. So I'm six feet tall for reference and I'm not bunking my head. You know, probably about 6'3", something like that. Here above the island, you do get that nice looking lighting fixture, just looking all fancy. A couple more lighting controls. This is going to control your fan. And then this is for the, um, the second AC, so your, your th second thermostat. You got the loft here above, which I'll show you in just a moment. And that goes above the bedroom as well. And then right here, you got your bathroom. You got a little bit of storage here uh, above the, the old toilet. So just like that. Got yourself a little towel rack. Toilet. The old porcelain throne. Pretty good sized shower. So plenty of room to sit down, shave your legs, let the hot water hit you. You also got a couple little places where you can put your soaps, your shampoos, you know, and all that. Got yourself a little sink with an outlet. Show you the old bowling arm. Like I was telling people that came in this morning. God, bowling was rough yesterday. I've had two of the worst weeks of my year bowling back to back. And that is just not going to cut it. Underneath the sink. A little access to plumbing. And then underneath here is some more access to some of your maintenance items. And they even put the soft clothes there underneath the sink, which is pretty cool. You know, in the uh, in the bathroom, you think it would get a little bit neglected, but nope. Good size ladder again with the nightshade. And then you got your bedroom, which I'll come right back to. I want to show you this loft real quick. So you got these little carpeted steps right here. You got yourself a grab handle. You got a larger loft over to the left, and a bigger loft or I'm sorry, a smaller loft right here. I don't know who was in here earlier, but you got a little blanket. Maybe someone was sleeping, maybe one of the techs, I don't know. I don't think so, I was just kidding. All right, storage, outlet, outlet, window, and then some good storage right over here. You also have an outlet, your sable, cable, sable, blah, geez, oh, Pete's. your satellite out, antenna, all that good stuff, and then our light switch for up here. But pretty good storage. I mean, you could use it as storage or sleeping. Imagine if you were a kid, had a couple buddies in there. You know, that'd be an absolute blast, kind of like a, a built-in little fort. And that brings us into the bedroom. So you get your king-size bed. I didn't turn the lights on, but you do have lights that are underneath there. 
You got some storage here up above. Well, actually, here, let me just turn on the lights. And you'll see these do hold themselves up, but the storage goes, you know, all the way across. Oh, those one aren't soft closed. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Accent lighting here underneath, and you got windows both left and right that open up for a nice cross breeze. Underneath the bed, really good storage. And then right here, you got your dresser and a place where you can hang up a TV. So you got your TV backer, you know, right there. And then this is what your dresser is looking like. You got two drawers up here, a little bit smaller. And then you got your two bigger ones uh, right there. Now this customer put in the combo washer and dryer. Uh, so it's, it's going to be like your all-in-one system. You know, your two-in-one, both washer and dryer. But it does have enough room, if you would like, to put a fully stackable you know, washer and dryer. If not, it's essentially just a big old closet for you. But that's going to be where your hookups are, your hot and cold water. And then right here, it's going to be one big open area for some hanging items. You also have your King Wi-Fi connect. So that way you can draw in a little bit more Wi-Fi from a little bit further away. And then down here, you got your dresser set up. So you're going to have two of these. And then two of these. Pretty good little room. And this actually opens up just a little further. I actually, when I was messing around with those buttons, I closed it about four inches. Uh, but so this does go just a little further to give you a little bit more foot space here. Outlet there on the wall. And guys, I think that about wraps it up here for the inside portion of this tour. I'll just give you one more kind of quick little look around. But this is the 2023 Sierra. 3990 FL, again, the front living loft model. Pretty darn slick. It's also a full profile uh, RV, which is nice. So it's kind of got one size from front to back, giving you more head height here, you know, up in this front living area. All right, so now let's show you outside, just kind of where things are, you know, point out a couple things that I enjoy. First off, you have an absolutely massive awning that goes from here all the way over there. So again, the size will be down in the description of this model, but it's absolutely giant. And you got the LED strip there underneath. Propane behind this door. Fully laminated sidewalls for the slides, which isn't always the case. And then you have this pass through storage back here, which is pretty nice. Gonna find you got an outlet. Also shows off some of that construction quality. You'll know that it's all wrapped up. You don't see any wood exposed or anything like that. And then it's welded at all points here on the frame as well. You got your battery disconnect right there. So if you want to flip off everything and not drain your battery, you know, that's where you do it. Get your spray port. You also get uh, the step above solid entry steps, which I like, you know, a little bit sturdier for when you're going in, not kind of the flimsy entry steps, but you simply just lift it up and throw it inside the door. And I do like how they actually just stay up on their own. So they're on like a little spring loaded system, but you know, flip it up into the door during travel mode, you know, and you're good to go. So for the four camera safety system, and I'm not positive if they got it, but they do at least have a side. That is where the door side camera would be. And then this is gonna be the front right camera. You're gonna have another one on the front left, and then you have one just up on the back. So that way, while you're driving down the road, you get a nice view of what's going on the side of you and behind you. You also get some distance markers. So that way you can kind of see, you know, how far the cars are, you know, which is always a plus. If you just want the rear camera, it's 550 bucks. It's money well spent. You got your outside uh, speakers kind of making a little funky, funky little face. Imagine some ears. Yeah, I don't know. But your outside marine grade speakers, Got your outlets, and then this is gonna be a little cable port. You're gonna notice that they do have the tinted windows here on the Sierra, and they have the six point auto leveling. Right under here is gonna be your LP Quick Connect, uh, right there. So that way if you ever wanted to hook up like a propane grill, you know that's where you do it. It ties directly into your propane bottles there up front. Swing it around the back. That's where that rear observation camera I was telling you about is going to be uh, where it already is actually, I'm sorry, but
But again, that allows you to see what's going on behind you and how far away that they are. And it is prepped for the Lippert on the go ladder. So this is a fully walkable roof. So you can get on top, check your seals, check on top of the slides, make sure there's no debris and you know, kind of keep that going. And you can walk on it fully without having to worry anything. But you can get that Lippert on the go ladder just on lippert.com. But that's what the prep looks like. So you attach the ladder on there, you know, and you're good to go. If you would like, you can put slide toppers on all three slides back here. It'd run you $2,100 in total, 700 bucks a piece. But if you're not familiar with what a slide topper is, it's essentially an awning for the top of your slide. So as the slide comes out, that awning comes out with it, protecting you from the debris or tree branches, pine needles, rain, sun, whatever it might be from damaging those seals. So when you close it, you know, it just kind of rolls off the top as opposed to going into, you know, that seal causing a leak. That's where most of the leaks are going to come from, you know, if you're ever going to have one. It's just from not checking. Here's going to be your sewer outlet connection right there. Galley tank is going to be located right under here. Got a little bit of storage. Dual axle, this is where you plug the camper in, so your 50 amp cord. Back end of the hot, uh, the Furion hot water. And this is gonna be the back side of the uh, pass-through storage. So you do get you know, your leveling controls right there and then your solar charge controller. So that just shows you that the camper, the solar panels are doing their job and they are you know, powering up that battery. All right, now let's see this here. Place for your, oh, my camera's getting funky. Uh, place for your spare tire, a little bit of storage and your battery. You got the Rhino box, pin box. And then you do get some, uh, some lighting here up in the front, but it's like 20 degrees out and it's snowing and sleeting and all sorts of stuff. But guys, once again, this was the 2023 Sierra 3990 FL. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope to catch you on another one. Have a great night. See ya.